Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition and today I want to show you the comparison video of P365XL versus regular P365. The case size is same as 365 TAC pack case that I got. So it's bigger case. This is the XL with uh, it comes with two 12 round magazines or the civilian version is uh, two 10 round magazines and this one comes with uh, two 10 round magazines but this one is with the finger group. So this is the regular P365. I just wanna show you that the uh, gun is empty on both. Okay, gun is empty. Okay, so, so the size difference. If you look at it straight down, it's the same lower body up to the trigger, up to this point, it's same. But this has the extra beaver tail. The sight system is a little bit different. Okay, there's a different markings on the sights. But the trigger, this looks exactly the same. And then it's slightly longer. For P365, it doesn't have the mag wheel. But P365 XL has a slight mag wheel built into the grip. Look at the trigger. P365 XL has the straight trigger whereas uh, P365 is the curved trigger. So I'm sure the straight trigger is better. I'm assuming, but usually it's like that. This section is exactly the same. Okay, the grip. This has a little bit of cutout so you can grab the magazine out. This has the built-in magwell right here. The finger grooves, finger grooves. This is all the same. Flashlight or laser mount, that seems to be the same. The rear sight, this is a lot shorter. It's a straight down 90 degrees for the one hand operation, so you can make ready with one hand. Okay, and this is for P365 XL, so it's longer. Feels more like a real gun than the P365. So this one has a like little bit of a horizontal grooves. See, it's an actual different side system. The one on the right, 365XL, the side goes in a little bit, whereas uh, 365 on the left, it's just straight down. The front side, so it's a SIG H3 on it. One on the right is the XL, one on the left is the regular one. XL has the beaver tail, whereas a P365 doesn't. See, it's, there's no extension as this. So when you grip it, it's a better feeling. And the pinky uh, grip is perfect. Feels better, but it's heavier gun. And uh, see, this one is missing a pinky. Okay, so now the magazine's in. So it has that kind of look with the magazine. When you grip it, feels natural. Perfect grip. This one is a 10 round with a finger extension. So again, it's perfect. But then because of the lack of beaver tail, it feels like the XL, you can grip it a little bit higher. It feels uh, better in your hand. But obviously P365 is a lot shorter. The bottom is that much shorter. That's exact same height, and that's the difference. If I put a 12 round magazine in this regular P365, it will be the same distance. I think you can put the 12 round mag, regular magazine from XL on the 365. So it'll look like this. You can use it, but the 10 round from 365 won't, won't work on this gun. So these won't work. You have to get the XL magazines. But when you're doing in waistband holster, this is a little bit big for me. I like carrying this gun. Another difference is on an XL, you can put a red dot system. So you can remove the top and install the red dot system, whereas a uh, regular P365 you can't so this XL feels like more like a real gun 
This is more like CCW or off-duty carry for law enforcement. And that's the difference. It says cool logo XL. Thank you for viewing my video and I'll come back with new videos. Thank you.